Hello everyone, welcome back, Gakimus here, and I, where, well, sorry, let's adjust my headphones. Uh, during the night, I just, I've kind of skipped the night, it's now morning, um, what I did is I did a mental run outside to get some wood before the mob started spawning, and then the mob started spawning, so I kind of crapped myself and ran back. Now we just got silly slimes. Um, yeah, so uh, what I did get, uh, I, uh, yeah, so I finished there, there. Start again. <laughs> so uh, I finished building this wall. Uh, I also made it so that it was a proper house. Uh, but I did after the mob started spawning. I was just kind of standing on my balcony, killing them just for a bit of money. Get out the way, guy! I'm trying to shut the freaking door. Okay. Well, he's being a noob and not allowing me to shut the fucking door. Go away! No, there's nothing you can help me with. Jesus, okay, but I did notice I can now craft a few more things, so, I could craft the sign anyway, good, right, uh, I can also craft now a chest, so what I can do with the chest is I can leave my money in it, because I've got a bit more money now, yeah, I can leave my money in it when I go adventuring, so if I die, I'm not going to lose it, what else was it, oh yeah, and I can now make an iron anvil, so I'm going to make one of them, because I need five iron bars for that, Put that. oh, that's something, during the night, random stars will fall out of the sky. On their own, they only restore 20 mana, but if you have 10 of them, you can change it, uh, you can convert it into something else, can't remember the name of it, and it actually gives you mana, because you can get spells on this. Do not know how, but you can get spells. So, yeah, that's something that's pretty cool. And uh, I killed a few eyes and got a couple of lenses. Uh, hmm... With lenses, sorry, I'm like forgetting to swallow. I'm not with it today, am I? <laughs> with lenses, you can create well goggles, which I'm going to create just because they look so cool. <laughs> they are epic, and they also give a defense as well, so that's cool. Um, and uh, if you've got ten of them, you can go to a demon altar, I believe it is, and create an item which allows you to summon a boss, which is Basically, a giant evil eye, with a lot more health, of course. Uh, what else did I do? Hmm. I can't remember. I believe that's it. So I'm also going to create myself a chest. Annoyingly, chest is going to take up more of my iron bar, so I don't think I'm going to have enough iron to make anything. But, yeah, that's... Hmm, I'll put the anvil next to the furnace, and I'm going to put the chest in this room up top. Kind of spread stuff out, right? Let's drop my coins in there. I'm also going to leave these fallen stars in there. This silk. Cobwebs. Just going to get rid of all the shit I don't need, basically. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember something I wanted to do. Right, uh, no, I want the furnace. So, yeah, I've got some sand. I can create, create, no, I can craft sand into glass. So if I take two glass, with glass, I can make glass bottles. In fact, it's just one glass for two glass bottles. That's pretty cool. And what I could do with the glass bottles, because believe it or not, this table, actually, with a chair next to it, classes are something you can use to craft. But if I stick these torches, on, uh, torches, these, uh, what do you call them, bottles, on here, it becomes an alchemist table. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to do this. Uh, I learnt this through the wiki, believe it or not. With the alchemist table, I could actually make lesser healing potions and greater healing potions, but they require different mushrooms. So yeah, just mushrooms, two gel, and two bottles creates two lesser healing potions. And, well, lesser healing potion restores 100 life, restores 20 life. It's a no-brainer, really. You want the lesser healing potions as opposed to mushrooms. So I can actually make quite a few of them, but I'm not going to bother right now. I'm going to go to my anvil. Why do I keep closing that? To see if I can make any tools. Yeah, so that now I can make tools now. I've got some wood. So, copper broadsword. Copper short sword. Guess it's all about the speed. And, oh, a copper helmet. But, I'm not going to create one of them, as copper helmet only gives one defense. And so do the goggles, and that requires 15 copper bars, which is all of the bars I've got. Uh, I can make some, uh, ooh, I can make an iron chain, I'm going to make one of them to see if I can make anything else with it. Oh, I can. A chandelier, which requires four copper, a torch, and an iron chain. Cool. 
I think you also need iron chains to make the grappling hooks, uh, but I don't know. So yeah, so um, right, so that's seven, and that's seven, and that's eight. So I can make a copper broadsword and a copper bow. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because da damage five. Oh, damage eight. Yeah, that's quite a big improvement, really, isn't it? So yeah, so copper sh oh, short sword or broadsword? Hmm. I'm going to go for broadsword, because that's what I'm using anyway. I think it's exactly the same. I am just going to go pop that crap that I just don't need anymore in here. Uh... Hmm. I seem to be having a bit of frame rate issue. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, okay, it's back to normal. Oh, no. But yeah, uh, I'm going to make a few more potions. Uh... 13 so uh, that'll do okay there we go all back to normal now right uh, 15 potions that should be enough for a little explore uh, some more arrows uh, don't want to go down there uh, do, 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 do. how many arrows can I make uh, quite a lot good can never have too many arrows. Seeing as I used all of my arrows while I was uh, trying to kill those flipping eyeballs, because they're quite hard to kill with your sword. That's so, right. So let's uh, arrange my hot bars. Oh, oh crap! I need some torches. Oh, it's okay. I've still got some wood. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, let's see. What we can find. Uh, I really don't feel confident enough to go into a cave yet. I'd like some armor. But let's test out this new stuff anyway. Right, so. That does seven damage. Come back here. Blimey, it knocks them back miles. No, yeah, that one was just being weird. Ah, you little bastard. Okay, so I. Uh, Let's have a look what's in this. Was this an empty cave? Didn't I come in here already? Nope, I obviously didn't come in here. What was that? Oh, just some money. Okay, so let's see what's a bit deeper in here. Oh, frick! Yeah, that was a bit unexpected. Oh, I just realised I need some wood if I'm going to be able to survive in here because I need to be able to make some platforms. Uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot you can just place it directly on dirt. Oh, another healing potion. Nice. Right, okay, so let's just, I'm just going to go grab some wood, but that looks like quite a quite a promising cave to start exploring, because it's quite near to my um, spawn point. Okay, now I've got my cool goggles. A new boat. Oh, and I'm not paying. Oh, see, look, see what I mean? That like He was just one block below me, and I couldn't hit him, and he could hit me. I'm going to have to use one of these potions already. There we go. Potions also kind of like share cooldown with the, uh, um, why is there light over there? With the mushrooms. Oh, it leads to another entrance. Okay. Uh, let's just see, how far down does this water go? Okay, too far, too far. Go back, go back, go back. You may notice here that the background's changing. Yeah, so you can see it more clearly here. This, uh, I think that basically symbolises that you're actually in a cave. I think different mobs can spawn in here as well. I'm not entirely sure. I'll place the, cave, the flipping thing up there. Okay, so... Let's get this iron. Oh, so slimes can still jump down here though, because I can see one on its way. Money... Okay, I did not see what either of them gave me. Hmm, by the looks of it, just more money. Right, uh, let's just explore up here. I like to place torches everywhere I've been. Right, I can see some iron up there. Let's try this new bow out. Ah, uh, missing, missing. Oh no, that's not good. So this is the downside to mobs. They do push you. Okay, well, yeah, there was some iron up there, but 
I'm not going to bother with that. Hmm. I'm liking all these urns. Oh, sugar. That was a bit of a fail. Ah. Oh yeah, so uh, I set up there I could place like blocks directly on the mud background. On this one, I can't. Oh, would you go away? Yeah. Oh, actually. So you can shoot arrows directly into cobwebs to remove them. Completely forgot I could do that. Oh my god. Would you go away? Oh, for god's sakes. This is not going well. Just waste like half my arrows. Okay, brilliant. Right, so I'm going to make a little platform over to there. Oh, I'm going to have to make some more of them. Not right now. Okay, so it looks like all that's up here is just a few smashy things. Smashy, smashy. Right, I did think, actually, if, uh, I don't know. This looks incredibly dangerous. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hmm, actually, that leads to somewhere over there. See, these caves all lead to different parts of the cave. So you can just, like, mine through here. And look, there's another bloody cave here. With lots of iron. Ooh. Ooh. And look, if you look below the iron, that leads to somewhere as well. Oh my god, this is just unreal. Yep. <laughs> Better make sure I don't fall through his. So yeah, so you've got the breakables. There's also chests that you can find in these dungeons, which is pretty damn cool. The chest can have loads of cool stuff in it. I do not want to fall down here. Uh, nothing down here though. I'm just going to light it up just so I know I've been here. So yeah, I, I also worked out... what the hell? Go away. That you can place blocks as high as you can jump. So you can place them, if you put them at the maximum range, that's the maximum height you can jump. Okay, I should really make it so I can get back over there, but... I'm having too much fun going down. Lots of cobwebs down there. Oh, that was very fail. Oh crap, that's definitely fail. Die! I, I send Lee back to wherever the hell they come from. Okay. Light this place up a bit. Let's just put a torch there. So that I'm falling very slowly through this. But it's very easy to get rid of. I think you could probably use it as quite a good PvP like trap. That'd be pretty cool. Make it someone comes into your uh, tries getting into your base. They get caught in cobweb, but then again, uh that probably wouldn't be the best thing because they can just get out of it. Oh, there's another bleeding slime coming. Right, so let's just get this copper ore, so hopefully hopefully I should get enough. Whoop. See there, you can't just jump out of the water like that to get breath back. Oh god. This whole not being able to swim properly underwater, is, it's, it's good, but I'm not a big fan of it. And of course you can't bla place, uh, oh my god, a yellow slime. Jesus, it's the first one of them, I think. Uh, probably not. Yeah, you go to hell. So yeah, it seems these slimes have different armor. Right, well, my phone is now telling me once again that I am out of time. So what I'm going to have to do is kind of just remember where this cave is, because I'm going to have to... Uh, come back to it. I'll uh, I'll make a few things with the stuff that I've got already, but it probably won't be much. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and goodbye.